Hey everybody, and welcome to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil Code Veronica with Mioix Fu. Now you might notice in the next couple of episodes that there might be a lot of echo! Well, I just moved into a new apartment about a month ago, and I don't really have a lot of stuff yet to absorb all the echoes. And you can't take out echoes after you've made a recording, and I'd rather not have to record this a third time. So, you're just gonna have to bear with it. Anyway, back to you, Claire. And me doing commentary. <laughs> and I hope you all bear with me for a second, because this is not, unfortunately, a blind part of the LP. I do know what I am doing, so to speak, but nothing actually... <sighs> Nothing actually happened in the episodes I tried to record a couple of days ago, except I, I went and found that those pistol parts that I found in the military complex don't work with the MP M100P, so we won't be sp wasting our time going back there. I am going to be taking the silver key, and I don't think we need the biohazard card just yet. Anyhow, if you'll remember last time on Resident Evil Code Veronica, Claire had just stumbled across the infirmary, I think it's the infirmary, of the prison, and she had found out that Alfred and the doctor are keeping a secret basement full of who knows what. Well, I do now, but a secret basement, which we will be checking out right now. Again, I apologize that these next couple of episodes are not going to be blind, but my, my audio didn't record, so... Oh wait, did I just run? Did they just hear me? I know there are bats in this corridor. If only I hadn't traded my lighter so soon. Oh well, if I walk I'll be fine. I'm just gonna keep going down this dank, dark, creepy corridor, see what surprises Alfred may have left for us down here. I bet it's going to be really creepy and dark and... Well, I wasn't expecting a, wo a paneled wood door. I wasn't expecting marble either! Oh god, and I wasn't expecting zombies! Man, Alfred, you have thrown me for a loop. <laughs> oh man, but what kind of bat cave do you have down here, Alfred? <laughs> I bet nobody's ever made that joke before. Alright, let's take care of is, is he gone? Yeah, he's gone. Okay. And... Yep. Always need more bowgun arrows. After all, we're almost running out of them. <laughs> oh man, this is... I mean, besides the gibbet and the blood all over the place, this is pretty classy. Like, this is... What kind of pleasure dungeon have you constructed for yourself down here, Alfred? Uh, I'm guessing that water wheel's to raise that door or something, so I'm guessing we'll come we'll come back, but Wonder what's down here. I bet it's not more torture stuff. <laughs> Actually, this looks properly more like a dungeon. Ooh. A sword. Man, nothing I want to do with get zombies but use a sword, get up and close, and hack them to death. What? We're locked in? This has never happened before in a Resident Evil game. Gas! This has never happened before either! What'll I do? <laughs> uh, too bad it's not as life threatening as the gas puzzles in one or two. I mean, come on. Look at that. That was easy. Oh. What do we have here? An iron statue with a hole in its chest. Hmm. That's too hard of a puzzle for me to figure out. But you know, while I'm here, and I do have a sword, might as well 
try my magician act. Never know when you can get practice with that, you know? Oh god! My audience has never turned on me like this before! They're usually dead! He is dead! <laughs> oh good, a piano roll. That makes risking my life and limb totally worth it. <laughs> also, I love how that zombie still has the sword stuck in his chest. <laughs> Well, good thing he can't follow me through a door or upstairs. That'd be crazy, and I would be so much more scared. Wait a minute. Oh god, he can! <laughs> Whatever will I do now? I'm almost out of bowgun arrows. I can't use those on him or anything. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> And then just that sword hanging out of his chest, it's great. Well, guess that's it for now. Let's head back up, shall we? So, I don't understand these bats. Are they supposed to be infected by the T-Virus, or are they just kind of annoyed at you when you run past or, you, or shine the light? I wish I had known that I could shine the light and keep them away before, but... Eh... You live and learn? I never thought... I, I thought it would annoy them and they'd come attack me, you know, because they're bats. They don't really care about the light. They can hardly see as it is, so... Also, I, I just noticed, there's a security camera up there. Huh. Wonder if we'll be doing anything with that later on. Probably not, I don't think we're gonna be coming back to this area at all. There's an ambush waiting for me out here. <laughs> this probably won't be as fun as if it was truly blind because I know what's coming up. Also, I forgot to turn it to automatic. But, honestly, it makes no story progression in these next couple of episodes, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. The only thing I really did was, uh... Well, I made a little bit of a story progression. I found out about a new enemy, I guess. That kind of counts, but... I'm not even gonna bother you with you. We're not even... <laughs> I've got nothing else to do here. I don't doubt we're going to be probably come back at some point for something, but for all I know, that's all we have to do in this area for quite a while. Can't think of any places we haven't gone yet, so... Oh, there's a dog. I forgot that I left him here. Although I, I think he just lounges until you come close. So I think we were all set. Alright. Oh, no. We're not all set here. <laughs> like, can we make it to the door? Pro oh. Probably not. It's odd. I thought there were only these zombies in the area. It's nice to know that, uh... They're randomized a little when they re-enter areas. That's kind of cool. Because it was just three of the... I don't... For lack of better words, crypt zombies waiting for me the last time I went through at the same... <laughs> I'm gonna be talking about the last few episodes a lot, honestly, so... Oh, by the way, speaking of, uh, recording... Wow, that's a tangent. Um, <laughs> apologies if you hear any bit of an echo. Uh, just moved to a new apartment mm, a few weeks ago in New York. Still don't have a lot around the room. Like, we filled it up quite a bit, but... This side of the room where I'm recording, there's gonna be a bit of an echo, and I can't really do anything about that. Also want to apologize if, uh... If you hear anything in the background that doesn't seem like it should be in the video. For, say, for instance, you hear a police siren going by, and you're like, Hey, wait a minute, this isn't Resident Evil 2. Silly, there are barely even roads here. Well, it's because I'm living in New York City. Queens County? Uh, County? Queens Borough. But still New York City. Oh god. 
Don't use the stairs, you son of a bitch. Okay, he's gonna. <laughs> Every time I've had to fight this guy, he's not used the stairs a single time, but I guess he he's a learning machine indeed. Now, ah, well. And there should be one more guy behind the desk at reception. Can I connect you to your party's extension? <laughs> oh god. Even at the last, he was still trying to do his job. <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> Alright. So I believe what I did in the last couple of episodes was I... Oh, shoot, I forgot that these guys were here and that they like to do that little quick attack. Well, I've got an attack for you, bud. It's called... An explosion. I was thinking, trying to think if I could come up with anything more crafty than that, but it's an explosion. I don't even know if I had to come in here. Ugh. Hunk. I haven't even gotten to do your videos in Resident Evil 2. Yes, I know that Hunk is one of the characters that you can do the special missions in Resident Evil 2. Ah. Uh, okay. I'm gonna try to recreate his voice. Attention! Mr. Alfred Ashford, head of the facility. Today at 1632, I arrived successfully from the Umbrella Transport Base with a large-scale B.O.W. capsule. Extreme care was taken during transport and all 108 checkpoints were confirmed condition green in accordance with standard procedures. It is currently being stored in a freezer. There's one thing and I don't understand. We're normally assigned to special missions. Why were we ordered to transport a frozen capsule this time? I understand that this may be classified as top secret and that I might not... I might not get the intricacies because I'm just a country lawyer not used to your big city complexities. But without knowledge of the contents, our safety could be at risk during the transport. This is especially important if the contents are potentially harmful. We would like to ask you to provide us with more information, should we be assigned similar missions in the future. I still remember the good old days that I spent here in the military training center. Nothing has changed since then. Nothing has changed since I was back playing college ball at the university. We will gear up for the next mission, today at 2300, Umbrella Special Forces Unit, Hunk. <laughs> you may have heard a clacking. <laughs> I, I put down the controller because I needed to actually gesture with my hands while I was doing that uh, rendition of Hunk's report. <laughs> I don't, I don't know why I picture him as a like cross between the the small country lawyer stereotype that always wins the case regardless and the 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 southern businessman who played college ball <laughs> all right so we got a blue plate i know exactly where that goes I believe I do declare. <laughs> now it goes um back in the Matil M M Matil military facility. Where are you? Yes, there you are. Oh shoot! That is going to be a problem. Although I believe we get more explosive bolts pretty quickly. I just spent three of those. Well, at least it's not it's not blind, but surprises continue to happen. 
That'll certainly make for some interesting moments. Alright, so besides the handgun bullets, I don't think there's even any reason to come in here. No, wait, there is, but... <laughs> I don't think there's anything else to pick up. Unless... Nope. Alright. Play me a tune, Rebecca. I mean... I miss Rebecca. Bartender, get me a drink. I can't find pictures. <laughs> I can't even find pictures of Rebecca in this in this game. <laughs> All right, so we've got what is this? The king ant object. Ah, I don't know where that goes yet. Well, I know I know it goes up in uh, Alexis's room or is Alexia. I keep I think I keep saying Alexis, but her name's actually Alexia. Ah, whatever. <laughs> it's not like she's any important figure in this game. Not like it seems she's the one pulling the strings with her brother. Ah, nah, nah. Actually, I don't think she is. I think they're working more in tandem than anything else. Alright, we are going to need the biohazard card, I do believe. So I'm going to grab that. Oh, 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 I keep, I forgot. There are some things we are going to be grabbing that will make a huge impact. I don't think we'll need those explosive crossbow bolts ever again, actually, now that I think about it. Because with this, this blue plate, we can pick up something very special from the military facility. 